Greetings, Elder Black Light, and salute. What I'm trying to do is get you to to uh, during this pandemic is to be still. And know thyself. See, the Caucasian is making weapons of mass destruction. He won't allow no one else. He don't want no other countries or nations to catch up with him. He don't want to stop making weapons of mass destruction. Even though he might slow down on his nuclear weapons, He's picking up on his biological weapons during warfare, and he using he using that pandemic to, to control the economy, to control other nations, to control his own own citizens, to all the people that's living inside of America. He wants to control your minds and dominate your actions. So you submit only to him. You do his will. And then, so a lot of us don't understand that. But we don't have equal ways and means of weapons. We can't make the kind of weapons he makes and use the kind of weapon he uses. So... We got to use what we naturally got. Now see, look, the Caucasian, he's a Johnny come lately. We was here before him. There's nothing new under the sun. But the only thing about all the science that we had, all the technology that we had in ancient times, we used natural technology. It's natural. And we already knew about blending in with nature because we are nature. That's one thing the Caucasian don't understand. The first man is nature itself. The first man is the universe. You know, <laughs> he don't understand that. And we don't either. So we have to be made to understand that. So Allah allows him to do all that so that we could reach into ourself and get the knowledge of self that's embedded in our DNA recycle that knowledge and bring it up have total recall bring it up front you know energize it and use it for our protection for our self to, you know but we got to take we got to take aggressive measures and we wasn't doing it so he put us on lockdown let me show you what Elijah Muhammad said about this in, in the uh, theology of time God in the reality it says, no more will you be taught. Go there and you'll learn God. Stand still, brothers and sisters, and you will learn. I'm going to stop it right there. We can't do nothing now but stand still. And so a lot of us have YouTube or you know, uh, some kind of way to get YouTube on the telephone. If you can't, don't have it in your household, you can get it. If most of us got smartphones, we can get YouTube. But you got to be on that frequency. So uh, you can get that revelations on who to listen to. What uh, YouTuber to listen to. And so no one is offering 
a way to protect yourself. Uh, they telling you how the white man is and how uh, Trump do and what Trump do and some brothers they they are throwing shade on each other and, and y'all going for that and y'all giving them y'all money but well, you should be trying to keep it in your pocket but you know most of the people ain't on that frequency so my subs I believe you're on the right frequency and uh, when you listen to me or look at me on YouTube I'm gonna show you another alternative to protect ourselves and to really defeat our enemy and metasonic or vibrations and frequency sound frequency is the one way I want you to catch this video I'm gonna play it in part but before we run out of time I want you to check this out to find the secrets of the universe think in frequency and vibration Nikola Tesla if you want to find the secrets of the universe think in terms of energy frequency and vibration Nikola Tesla although modern scientists are just now beginning to understand this quote from Tesla ancient civilizations around the world had known of the power of sound frequency and vibration for thousands of years in the essence of all religions and spiritual teachings we can find how the ancients used the power of the words this power has been utilized in the forms of prayers for Christians and Muslims mantras for Hindus and Buddhists and chants for the shamanic traditions all of this shows us how words and vibrations have an immense power which the ancients often utilized for many purposes in this video we'll examine not only the ancient practices but also the scientific findings of the power of vibrations how scientists are currently using vibrations and frequencies to alter and reprogram the DNA of living beings and how the Tibetans used sound for levitating and transporting heavy stones. Of course, we'll also tell you how to use this wisdom for self-improvement so that you can live a happy, healthy, and fulfilling life. Let me share with you an interesting phenomenon you've probably heard of or experienced before. This phenomenon precisely demonstrates how powerful sound and vibrations are. When I was a kid, I remember that moving my fingers around the wine glass was strangely making a very high-pitched sound and I was really surprised by it. But what happened as I kept making that sound was that the glass suddenly broke and that made me even more curious. What I believed to be magic back then, now I understand through science. This I don't know if you noticed but when she mentioned the word this was found in ancient culture. She didn't never show the black man. See, that's their problem. They don't want to give the black man the credit for being the first man black light. 